The South Valley is one part of town that not many people think of as a mecca for delicious food. But there are some top-rated New Mexican places and some unusual fare you won't find anywhere else. So joining us now to tell us more about South Valley eateries is our Roundtown expert and Yelp representative, Howie Keibel. Howie, good to see Hi. you. Hello. When we're talking about here. food and new places to eat, I'm always on board. Yes. All right, so let's talk about some of the best New Mexican favorites in the South Valley. What do you got for us? Yeah, these are old school and some of, some of the favorites in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the first one I'll, I'll tell you about is the Albuquerque City Limits. Do you know about this place? Mm -hmm. I've heard of it. I haven't eaten oh. there, but I've okay. heard of it. It's way, way out on the west side, mm -hmm. um, and it really is the city limits, <laughs> but it's delicious. Um, okay. Uh, and they're really specialized in red and green chili, sort of, uh, you know, cheesy, uh, spicy, classic comfort food. Um, right. But wonderful, wonderful place out there. Uh, okay. and, and number two would be Lolly's. Lollies. Uh, I haven't lollies. heard of lollies. Also in the south, just in, uh, into the South Valley, also specializing in, you know, uh, uh, enchiladas, burritos, um, you know, just New Mexican plates. Uh, uh -huh. But this is why you go into the South Valley I mean, more than more than anything else. Like, if you want comfort food, you're going to find it in in spades out there. I'll right. give you a few uh, more examples. Uh, El Modelo, some uh -huh. of the best Mexican food mm -hmm. in in this town. It's amazing tamales, uh, menudo. Um, K and I Diner. Uh, I have we talked that. about the Travis at the K and I Diner? Mm -mm. It is this enormous burrito that's covered in French fries, green chili, cheese. If you eat, the, it's one of those things. You eat the whole thing, you don't have to pay for it. It's the Travis Challenge. Really? So this is off of Broadway and like Bridge, or actually just south of. Uh, of, of I know yeah. where I'm going for lunch. Right. Um, and then a couple of uh, other favorites: Kathy's and Leroy's. Okay. Okay. So. Now, how about uh, ethnic food, other off-the-beaten-path restaurants? Yeah, I think that this is probably the best part about going into any neighborhood, is finding the ethnic food and mm -hmm. finding, like, unusual stuff out there. So the first one I'm going to name, which is one of my top ten in the city by far, uh, Pupuseria y Restaurante Salvador Salvadorino. So this is El Salvador food. No kidding. Um, okay. Right off of Bridge and... Uh, I want to say it's uh, just just off of Bridge and like Goff. Okay. Bridge and Goff. Okay. But this is yeah, this is El Salvadoran food that's incredible. The space is adorable. It's got that it's got that small feel uh, that small eatery feel, yeah. and the plates are enormous. So, there you go. Um, that's what you know. That's what I love about a lot of these restaurants that you find. Like you were saying, the, the portions. Are so big. Yeah. I mean, that's a good thing, but it's Perfect also a bad us. thing. Your doctor thinks it's a bad thing. <laughs> he's not dining with but you. But your heart and your emotions. Exactly. My <laughs> emotions. My thing. emotions. Are and you can, get, you can get cheap tacos. So even if they're small tacos, you're spending four bucks for oh, what turns yeah. out to be an enormous plate. That's wow. at El pa Paisa. Okay. okay. Um, Taco Tijuana and Amadeo's Pizza and Subs are all sort of. Uh, the more unusual foods uh, uh, on the South Valley there. That's great. Right. Okay. All right, well, so as you said just a, a few moments ago, Howie, that one of the best parts about going to various neighborhoods is is finding, you know, the, the various ethnicities and, and the flavors of those. So if we're wanting to look for a specific neighborhood on Yelp, how do we do mm -hmm. it? What do, you, what do you recommend? It's an awesome question. Um, and you know that with your, you, with your app, literally anywhere you are, it's going to identify your neighborhood and it's going to tell you what's going on. Uh -huh. But what if you're on your desktop? What if you're sitting at home and you're like, right. I want to go down to the South Valley tonight and I want to plan out A, B, C, and D. Right. Mm -hmm. So what do I do? I go and check out a, a Yelp search and right here you've got a uh, neighborhood uh, uh, listing. So you can check Borelos of the South Valley. You can check Knob Hill, the West Side, uh, the International District. But this is a way to limit your search to just businesses in those areas and you can choose shopping you can choose you know uh, obviously food but the plenty of other things to do too so okay. super easy way to narrow your search down to where you're going to be mm -hmm. that's great all right guys well for more information on how yelp can help you find new restaurants new eateries and new businesses in your neighborhood head over to casa.com howie thanks for breaking it down for thank us. you yeah.